Okay, hopefully I can finish the tutorial within the century. We'll see how it goes. So, on uh, right now, these two columns. Uh, let me uh, draw my red boxes around it. Um, are left justified. So, but we want the barcode itself to be centered, along with the the number that's centered. So, uh, what we're going to do in order to do that. We're going to use this, uh, I guess what I call a special tab. Now, it, some people have no idea what this L is for, and, and they occasionally accidentally do something like this, where they'll click here on the ruler, and that L will pop up. Well, if you notice, the nature of it is when I press tab now, you see that it is justified with that L. Um, essentially left justified and of course I can center justify it, right justify it and a bunch of other ones that you can look up so what we want is center justified so um, as this is of course um, 4 inches the second inch mark is where we want to do it so that works and same thing here tab Alright, that works also. So that's perfect. So we can go ahead, copy, and paste that exactly there. And all we're going to add is we'll go back to mailing and uh, get rid of the preview. And we'll be clicking here, insert the next record rule. And now I can highlight everything following it. Uh, I, I, I guess uh, it would be better to use the, the wizard so you can use this uh, update labels thing um, but and I found it very useful when I was working with it. So uh, let's preview the results and as you can see uh, the UPC number is the same for each one of them. The TK number is different and uh, you can see that the star character is in on each one of these. You might want to sometimes double check it, but it's there. You could just uh, press hold shift to go to the right to see how it just highlights that section. And at the end, just that section. So star there, star there. And the big highlight in the middle is your data from Excel. So that's all set to go. Alright, so next, let's uh, in fact, we can just simply really uh, maybe even copy and paste this and make uh, our lives easier, works half done in any case. Yes, so maybe we could just go to mailings, uh, go back to labels. Uh, mm, let's have, oh, I don't want a new document. I want a new label, that's what I want. So, I'm going to have a new label based on that. The only difference is, now this time, you recall in my example, um, the whole margin thing and the halfway point. If we make this 4.25, we'll print on these columns on this side. So, side margin, 4.25. Alright, let's hit OK on that. So, oh shoot, I got two custom test twos. Uh, it's actually locked. Let me uh, get rid of that one. Don't want no confusion here. Custom test three, and that'll be 4.25. Alright, so let's hit OK. And, uh, oh, can I close this somehow? I won't update this document, so we're going to have to create a new one. And I have to repeat our steps in uh, adding our basic uh, Excel. We're basically using it as a database, and you can use uh, it's open by another program. It's open by this one, so we have to save this and close it. And now we can open it now. We can use existing list. 
from sheet one again and this time we want to put in a I know well, what fields do we have again we have the serial number and access key so the serial number for whatever product and the access key for it and uh, this I guess this could be meant for the user to read and you can say uh, thanks for buying whatever we put your serial number here so wait why is this not on this side good job Microsoft good job alright my fault I didn't highlight custom tester it was my fault I, I admit it I admit it so let me go ahead and fix this so now we can see it's on the right side this time and uh, I'm going to copy and paste what I have here to my other document and I can close it paste it there and now I can reference my source and in information alright so I can insert for serial number serial number insert for access key access key and now here I can put in uh, the rule next record and basically just copy and paste that and then I can preview and I can see that it's working serial number is changing password is associated with um, the row so basically this implementation works perfectly yeah, well, what I at least call perfect. So, well, what the hell just happened? Okay, now paste. There we go. Alright, so now you would just print those out on the same paper, or uh, if you have a ton of paper, you print. A uh, ton of paper out for one column first, and then you print the other column first. But you, uh, essentially, I think uh, this tutorial is, and you get the idea. So, if you have any questions, just uh, I guess go ahead, uh, leave a comment below. Uh, labels standard two. I don't know. All right, that's it.